the declaration of, of the state of Israel. The third draft was done by four men. I am telling you, after that, the declaration follows, which were signed by 38 persons. Now, drafting the test, the first draft of the declaration was made by this Berenson, the legal advisor of the uh, trade union, and later a justice of the Supreme Court, oh. at the request of Pinchas Rosen. A revised second draft of the declaration was made by three lawyers, Abraham, and of course, another one, David Rames. A second committee meeting, which include David and many others, produced the final test. Today, the Afra government have what we call the Declaration Drafting Committee. Declaration Drafting Committee, headed by Bryson Okoma, Dr. Bryson Okoma. Exactly the same thing. Now you are seeing similarity in the state, in the pathway for this freedom and independent state of Israel. You have also seen similarity and the pathway to the declaration of the uh, independent state of Finland, you are also going to see another similarity from another country when I'm going to mention them. This is to tell you, and when you look at this pathway, they are not the same. The Finland and the Finland pathway to, to freedom and Israel pathway to freedom is not the same, but what we are doing has similarity with Israel, with Finland. And there are many more which I'm going to, to tell you what, what I'm using is called the multidimensional approach that can never, Nigeria can never ever escape that. So we will make sure that if we, this fail, the other one will not fail. And if this one fail, the other one will not fail. And that's exactly what we are doing because Nigeria is a complex country. Because of the vested interest of the world powers, it needed a very complex solution. And we found it. We found it. We have solved the mathematics and they found X. And they don't even know that that mathematics is cooling in our fridge. So what we do is we are going one after the other to take the, the solution, the equation, the what we use to solve this mathematics and apply it to our everyday activities in the liberation of Biafra. Now, I want you also to understand that the vote of the 12th May 1945 was convened to vote on the Declaration of Independence. Three of 13 members were absent. They had 13 members to vote, and three of these 13 members were what? They were absent. And some of them were being blocked in besieged Jerusalem. The difference today is that we are not only in exile, we are also in the homeland. We have, so when they tell you you are in exile, laugh at them. We have government in the homeland called the Biafra de facto government. When they mock you that, oh, these people are doing, of course, they are, not, they are no longer laughing. That's why you see the increase of attack and propaganda against us, which I warned the Bear France a few days ago. I said, there is going to be an increased propaganda in Nigeria media. Don't fall for it. And that's to see what's happening now, because they have come to realize that it's like these people are not joking. It's like these people are getting attention even in the, in the United States. It's like these people are having, you know, high level meeting with the United States Congress, United States government officials and all that. Too. This is no longer something should be, that we should ignore. That's what you see happening on social media. Don't be distracted. I am not distracted. Actually, the more this propaganda come, the more I get energy. So it is what is giving me energy is their propaganda. And once that propaganda stop coming, I will manufacture something that will make them to start talking. So what am I saying? The meeting started at about
Uh, Matthew KCC, the admin of Northern Nigeria. You have the mic. Matthew KCC. Thank you, sir. You have the mic. Yes, sir. Yeah. Please, a welcome address, please. You know, first is your opening prayer first before you go to your welcome address. Yeah, we have a, a reverend pastor here. Yeah, also, Mazi also. Mazi, want me to say again? Mazi, you Okay, take us to the prayer. Am I coming out clear? Yes, yes. we can hear you. Yeah, um, I pray the dungeon to pray in the language of heaven this afternoon. Uh, on your pretty and Nine <laughs> He said, he said, he said, Thank you. 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 The Prime Minister, His Excellency, Mazi Simon Eba, was a man with the truth and honest. No wonder the former president of the zoo, Oluse Wobasanjo, he said to his people that there is no need looking for this man called Mazinande Kalu. There's no need. It's of no use because there is a dangerous weapon behind him. Please, if I may ask, who is that a dangerous weapon? It's not a person than Mazi Simon Eba. That's why people in the north decided to give him a special name, Ikuku. Amanonia. Please, sir, permit me to rec recognize the presence of my mentor, Mazi Sources, the Van 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 Pastor, Adam Bonandegede. Welcome. You are all welcome. My co beer friends. You know, please join me and welcome our Prime Minister, Mazi Simon Eba, the Ikuku Amanonya. Please, sir, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mazi Okozese, for the short speech of welcome. Then we go to item number four which is breaking of Kola North by every northern state of Nigeria zoo country. Over to you, Mazu Kosisi. Yes, we are going to hand the microphone over to our man of God, the Osu, for him to tell us, give us the Kola. Mazi Osu, bye. Over to you. Uh very much. Um, I want to do a little as my sister does by the shouting, and this time I am going to shout the same name that we have given him. 
Only why the Chekovadi you must be kept by the law. That which you have started, you will finish it. Thank you very much. Um, we we don't have a physical color not here, but uh, we have decided as the north that we will break the color north in the mood of final. Thank you very much. Permit us to do so. Um, we, we are doing it by state, not by individual, for a purpose. And uh, please pardon us as we do that. Later on, we are going to forward the name and everything that has to do with what we have just done. Um, I'm going to start with the first stage. I'm sure I'm coming out. Please, if I'm not coming out, tell me so that I will. If I'm not we coming out, can hear you. We can hear you loud and clear. Thank you. Yeah. The first state in my list here is Kano State. Kano State. I'm going to be very slow in the amount so that those who want to write can write. Kano and then wait, will be man, taking. Mind you, mind you, say, Banji. If you have to call people's name, don't call full names. Only the first name is okay. Huh? Okay. No, I'm not going to. Call I'm not going to call any man. B. I'm only going to call okay. state. We gave it by state. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank the, you. Name, the name. We are, we are going to call the name later, but I'm going to call by state. No man B will be called here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, Thank you. The first name. What I have is Kano State. The Kano State as a state will be taking the color now with a sum of 273,500 ag. Again, 273,500 ag. Is that okay? Should I move to another state? Yes, continue. We can hear you. Continue. Okay. The second state is flat to state. Flat to state is taking the color north with a sum of 184,000 a day. 184,000 a day. Number three state is Kogi State. Kogi State is taking the Kola North with a sum of 63,000 AJ. 63,000 AJ. Number four is Kano State. The Kaduna State, I mean to say Kaduna State. Kaduna State is taking the Kola North with a sum of 50,000 AJ. Five zero thousand agents. The next state is Benue State. Benue State is taking the color north with a sum of twenty three thousand agents. Two three thousand agents. Then the next state is Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State is taking the color north with a sum of 200,000 AJ, 200,000 AJ. Then the next state is Taraba State. Taraba State is taking the color north with a sum of 65,225 AJ. 65,225 AJ. The next state is Federal Capital Territory. Federal Capital Territory is taking the color north with a sum of 200,000 AJ. 200,000 AJ. Another state is Kwara State. 
Quora says he's taking the call and not with a sum of 15,000. He gave 15,000. Then followed by Bauchi State. Bauchi State. Bauchi State is taking the call and not with a sum of 18,000 is the one And then the last but not the least is Gombe State. Gombe State is taking the color note with a sum of 5,000 is 5,000 is So far, these are the states that have been able to remit or forward their breaking of coal and oil. We are still waiting for others because we are forward enough and we are moving forward. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, Maji. Thank you. Thank you to all the northern states of the Nigerian zoo country. Thank you for making your voice heard. Thank you for making the entire world to know that um, their friends are everywhere, even inside FCT, Abuja of Nigeria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, not to admin, do you have something to say before um, we call on him? Okay, Susie. Sorry, before, before I hand over to you, sorry. I I want to also remind you that we are together with the, our leader here. For some of us who don't know, leader is with us, and we are threatened. Well done. Thank you, Mazi. Mazi, okay, CC, you have something to yes. say before we Yes, can we, can we get a total? Mazi, Ose, can we get a total for now? Mazi, Ose, okay. sorry, 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 sorry. I was too fast on that. We have a total. Are you there with me? Am I coming up? Yes, yes. We have a total, we have a total of 1,096,000. 725 AJ. Thank you. 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 Over to you before we hand over. Yes, thank you very much, sir. In this juncture, I want to use the 50,000 AJ to welcome our PM. To clean the microphone for him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Prime Minister, we now offer you, uh, we usher you to the stage. Take the stage, Prime Minister. Commit yourself, Bien. Thank you very much. Uh, Fellow Biafrans in the Northern Nigeria, the Biafra Liaison Office, Northern Nigeria, I thank you for this noble uh, course. And of course, for inviting me uh, today to Northern Nigeria you know, uh, as part of the tour of the unification of the Biafra people all over the world. Um, as you may know, we are just coming from the Australia tour, and here we are. I just want to let every one of you understand that we mean business in the liberation of Biafra. And for those of you who are taking risk in the den of liars, you are making history for yourself for your unborn generation. My fellow Biafrans in the North, and of course those that have joined and are listening to this program today, I have come to address many of you for the very first time in the Northern Nigeria in connection with a horrific and savage act of terrorism against our land, 
few days ago. We have seen on social media images, videos, including those who survived the attack against our students in their schools. This attack claimed life of dozens of peaceful, innocent students in their hostels. My fellow citizens of Biafra, this attack were also meted against our students and doctors. Women. Nigerian government moves for Mazi Simon Eba's extradition from Finland to Nigeria. Current information online now is that the NIG government, uh, the government, uh, where some people they call the place where they call for Obodo Omano Mano Eba and Zomano Mano. And so they don't talk, say they don't move, oh, they don't make move to go and extradite Mazi Simon Eba from Finland. And I say, how is this going to be possible? Uh, because as it is, Eba has turned his Nigerian passport. Uh, he has also um, burnt the energy flag on the social media. And currently, he possesses only Finland and the Biafran passport. And on my own end, I said, how is it going to be possible for this particular government? Of course, you know that this government have left uh, what they should be chasing, and they are chasing something different. The, the economical condition of the nation is, dilapid, is in dilapidated form. Uh, the citizens are hungry. Uh, few uh, can easily or hardly uh, uh, um, achieve whatever they want or acquire what they want because of scarcity of uh, money and scarcity of fuel, uh, scarcity of products uh, to be able to... Uh, uh, return business and purchase the commodity you require but as it is uh, let's go down to the full detail of the information make you see what's in the happen the defense headquarters dhq has disclosed that the nigerian government is engaging the european union eu towards extradition extraditing uh, the prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile no me talk more now waiting i see for news that they read uh, before some of you will come up and say nyoko pus every time I'm going to show you good, uh, good information. Make you make you yourself know as you be for the Obodo. DHQ Director of Defense Media Operation Major General Edward Buba spoke in response to Eba's announcement of December 2nd as the date of the map presentation and official declaration of Biafra Republic. Addressing newsmen in Abuja on Tuesday, Buba said the Nigerian government would respond appropriately through the EU. He said the FG would respond appropriately to the Finnish government through the EU on the part of the military. Troops would sustain operation against IPOB slash ESN. Eba had unveiled the map of the 40 United States of Biafra and issued a declaration on December 2nd, 2024, he disclosed that the move was aimed at expediting the actualization of Biafra independence. The Biafra government is preparing to present the complete map of Biafra on December 2nd, 2024, Eba claimed. Biafra map, Nigerian government moves for Eba extradition. This is the current update now, live, uh, that the Nigerian government is moving for Mazi Simon Eba's extradition for him to be extradited from um, Finland to Nigeria to face the course of law. And many people will be wondering, what is the man's offense? The man's offense is that he unveiled uh, the new Biafra map and he has proposed that the declaration of a Republic of Biafra will commence on the 2nd of December 2024 after he unveiled map of 40 states of Biafra, and he said the declaration will be on the 2nd of December, 2024. And the Nigerian government, uh, hearing that, uh, went into shiva, panic, and shaking, and said, hmm, uh, it looks like this boy is coming in another form. 
and they are going to take a direct action. And when um, the DHQ was asked, they responded in this way that they are going to respond appropriately to Mas Simon Eba through the EU and through the uh, yes, the European Union and also through the Finland government. Of course, they said uh, they have also been uh, writing to the Finland government to know what they are going to do about it. And the question, please drop it on the comment section. Um, is it an offense? Is it against the law? Uh, what Eba is doing that he's saying that he's going to declare uh, the Biafra referendum? Or is it wrong for some people to uh, decide they want to secede from a particular nation and have their own nation? Uh, if it is wrong, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, because, of course, you know that um, we have found ourselves in a nation whereby uh, we cannot even exercise our political right, uh, even our franchise right. Uh, the last election uh, shows proof that life to, uh, right to franchise has been denied uh, Nigerians, uh, Ndibo as a whole. Right to franchise has, uh, they have been denied the right uh, to franchise because. Uh, when a majority of the citizens voted and uh, you find out that after the voting, uh, the citizens know who they voted for and um, you see the INEC obtaining the result uh, to favor a particular party and that is to tell you that the right to franchise has been marginalized in the nation uh, where we see ourselves uh, because your vote no more counts. What counts is what the INEC gives to the people. And once 200 million is delivered, uh, INEC will deliver your judgment. Who knows what's going to come on the upcoming election of the 2027. Um, this, the other one, uh, we had that 200 million was the deal. Uh, the upcoming one could be about maybe 400 million or maybe 7 to 1 billion for the deal. Of course, you know, that the upcoming election is going to be hotter than the past. But as it is, um, and my question is, the Nigerian NIG government, how are they going to achieve this particular dream of extradicting the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba Wanjoko, to Nigeria? Now, Eba wrote on his Twitter handle in response, he said, uh, and I read, this is corruption of the highest order Nigeria paid the man millions of dollars to ban me on WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram between 2022 and 2023. Finally, the truth is out, but I must thank him. Actually, he pushed me into establishing a new social network app called Freedom Stream, which will be launched next month. So everyone should watch out for the new app that has all features of Facebook, YouTube, and WhatsApp and Telegram combined. That's where you will have freedom of speech. <laughs> um, of course, Ndibo as a whole will never cease to amuse me uh, because I'm proactive in nature. And I think um, what suits Igbo people uh, is equally to have their own nation because uh, if you watch the culture, tradition of Ndibo, uh, you will find out that these Igbo people behave in a different way. Their behavior is different. Their approach to the environment, their approach to things and matters are quite different. Their approach to the way they do things are different. Their approach is very, very, very different to things and issues of life. Uh, even if you compare where the Igbo people are living, if you go to Igbo community, Hausa community and Yoruba community, you will tell the difference. Uh, you don't need a suicide to tell you that Igbos are developers because if you give them a place before you know it, four-story building, five-story building, six-story building, development has started coming in. But if you give the house as a place, they call it a house. Next hundred years, that a good business. One thing about house people is that they bring in business, a lot of business, but that place will still remain underdeveloped. The same thing goes with Yoruba people. Yoruba people can be there live in your house but what they know is that when they are getting the money they are going back to their place to invest 
Meanwhile, Igbo man goes back to his, safe, his place to invest, but first of all, he prefers having comfort where he lives before moving back home because any can debang to I no sinna ebony be corner megane and ya boy ebe can ya boy and our watch. Makane be be kega na wachi. Makana balo and I are see a cow um nem where then both yeah can a kwamunu uh when I seno go on a quarter no no. Um the four man I ma the if I name the manasio, uh, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, Biko, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, uh, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button uh, so that whenever our news is dropping, you will be the first who will collect them. Hey, my can I say, uh, na one ne be fair, only libanya me getting any one one only ne linga na any one near, my can one ne be fair. I can never moon no more, I can never moon. See, eh, Nango, Jay, Kunakona, Aquana, Lequania, Sunna, I am a gun, eh, on your buena can in Abute, on your buena cap in Abute, on your buena butte, can a moon, yeah. Eh, it's just to be fighting the flanny headers, eh, where they ravage the obodo of the indigenous people of Biafra. They say now, why they set up that ESM. Say make anybody know they carry them out, they put say uh, now the members of the IPOBO or the members of the ESN and then they do the catawals where we say they happen for Anambra State. As it is now, uh, if you like say Anambra State they born like volcano, uh, because he has in Anambra now is Chibo and uh, one day one story, another day another story. Uh, stories keep uh, emanating in Anambra State. Stories. Uh, keep coming up for that side uh, of Anambra. <laughs> and um, they say the governor will be saying there for that side. They say the man don't collect waiting to the call. Choma Ajunwa. And I waiting the man collect. Uh, they say the man don't throw my katawus. Who say Taylor? Meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, you get another thing will happen. They say for Abuja, the people where they call shite. Uh, these people now one Muslim organization like that. Uh, they know uh, they know them as shite, uh, as it they be. Uh, these people now katakata don't do because uh, they don't go mend police people for that uh, uh, Abuja. Waiting they do to police people now. Waiting they they call. Waiting no good. <laughs> and as it they be, um, Nigerian police don't they complain say onya bokona go kanado more than do. Um, say so, shite, uh, they don't bala uh, police. I cannot let's go down to the full, full detail of that particular information. Make you see what in the happen there. Shite have declared war, FCT CP fumes over killing of officers in Abuja. The commissioner of police in the federal capital territory, FCT Abuja CP, Bennett Igwe has expressed anger over an attack on personnel personnel of the command which claim at least two officers. Daily Post has reported that a riot erupted in the nation's capital on Sunday when members of El Zazaki movement, popularly known as Shite, clashed with operatives of the FCT command during a procession. At least six persons, including two police officers, were gruesomely murdered when the proscribed Islamic group launched an attack at a police checking point at Wuse Junction. This one is happening in Abuja life. Uh, it is no more the indigenous people of Biafra. Or it is no more uh, Biafra Liberation Army, IPOB, or Eastern Security Network. Uh, this one is the members of El Zazaki, people where they call shite. Uh, they say that then don't go attack police people for... And then don't go attack police people for Abuja like that. Uh, now so now in the main police people they hear say uh, even two police people with other civilians lost their life for that particular attack and we we, we they ask uh Ibanyu waiting they happen uh Makananda Banya is na Ayalo Isiaka na Dayaro uh Isiaka Abuofio as it be but uh on your mellow Nayalo Remember that part of the things where we say they cost these things for this is security for the over. We say uh, people not truly truly get uh, truly 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 get handwork uh, because if to say people get handwork uh, by now, um, 
Many, many people know go they wonder uh, how it go to be. <laughs> Or uh, waiting they happen, or waiting they stop for that side. For me, why not get a CB uh, where you never be before? Let me know, yeah. Uh, if the first time we we'll say they join us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you go be the first to collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.